Hello, it's Monday morning, Izzy's back at online college and I am gonna see my boyfriend today. I'm pretty pleased about that. He's literally due in five minutes. So I was just thinking, oh, I'll start the vlog once I'm dressed and ready. And, and then I thought, ah, it's five two, right? So I just thought I'd come and say a quick hello now. So sorry about the disheveled appearance. I'm just gonna sort my hair out and get ready. Quick disclaimer, my boyfriend and I are technically allowed to be in a support bubble. So we're kind of a support bubble, except we actually haven't been seeing each other and we haven't been going indoors together for a long time <laughs> uh, especially as Izzy and I had flu symptoms so we're going to meet outside and we're just going to have a walk together socially distance in the fresh air and have a chat and try and figure out what to do about this situation <laughs> it's 10 past 11 and I've actually managed to get ready in time so any minute now he's gonna knock on the door I better tell Izzy where I'm going look at that squirrel's mouth <laughs> <laughs> That's it's for his nest. Something do squirrels have nests? Yeah. Well, 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 I've just come to the park with my handsome boyfriend and as you can see, the duck pond is partially frozen over. I've never seen that before. Our way has been blocked by those. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm on the edge now, and this just suddenly started to come up all on its own. Look. Ooh. I'm not used to ice. Hopefully, I don't fall in the pond. Oh, <laughs> dear. Probably birds have pooed in that water, haven't they, Ivy? What's that? That water has probably got bird poo in it. Definitely, and fish, fish and bird weed and poo. Yeah. Oh. Well, actually, they don't weed, do they? No, do they? They, it comes out of the same hole. It's like a mixture of liquid and solid. Yeah. I might get, yeah, the alcohol sanitizer on that one. Hello, I'm now back home from my walk with IB. That was really lovely. I didn't film very much, as you could see. We had a little chat and uh, yeah, so we're allowed to be in a bubble because we both live in single adult households. So by law, we can form a bubble with another household. So Izzy's been off college for three weeks and she's off for the rest of this week. And me and Izzy isolated anyway for nearly 14 days now. So he's gonna come for a sleepover in a couple of days time. I'm very pleased about that. I don't know how long we'll be able to keep that up for. It just depends, really, because once Izzy goes back to college, she's obviously going to be at risk of bringing the virus into the home again. And once his work starts up properly, he might end up getting, you know, potential exposure as well. So I think we might need to just sort of take it a day at a time, really. But anyway, he's going to come and have a sleepover. <laughs> so that's going to be really nice. I'll be able to cook him dinner and make him coffee in the morning. And he'll probably come in the day and do some work here as well. So we'll be able to work side by side at the table. And ah, oh, so pleased. Meanwhile, in Imo and Izzy mansions, I am making coffee, as I often am. My first of the day, in fact. Izzy is upstairs in her bedroom she's doing college work online and is actually linked up on a video call live right now i've just dumped my bag there where i've come in <laughs> got a bit of a headache actually uh, hopefully the coffee will sort that out suppose you like a jigsaw puzzle update i'm actually vlogging on my gopro which is kind of weird i don't ever do this in the house i am so look look nearly finished can't get too close with the gopro or it goes out of focus it's not like the sony with my handy cam, I can get a lot closer. <laughs> that little boy, the sled. A few gaps yet though. I reckon by the end of tonight, I'll have that done. Oh yes. But right now, I need to get tonight's vlog up. So that's the next thing on my to-do list. And just like that, just, oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> it's all coming out of the valve. Oh my gosh, that frightened the living daylights out of me. Well, <laughs> goes to show that the valve works. That was good action footage, that was. Holy moly. I don't even know if you heard that. It was like a, a sort of pop and then all the steam came out. <sighs> it's quarter past two in the afternoon. I've just got the vlog up and I'm just so tired. All I want to do is go to sleep. I don't want to waste the day. <laughs> um, a bit annoying. There's music, quite loud music coming from that side and quite loud sort of screaming like kids playing 
in the bedroom outside so I don't know if I'm going to get any sleep because I'm such a light sleeper. I might lie down for 10 minutes and give it a go see what happens. Good evening. I'm feeling very sheepish because I've just got up and it's 5.15 and it's dark out. <laughs> I think that walk might have um, finished me off a bit. Making myself a cup of coffee again. Second one of the day. I'm kind of hungry. Isabel's not ready for dinner but she won't be much longer before she is so I'm thinking what on earth am I going to eat now because I'm going to have to cook again in about an hour. Uh, I haven't had lunch. <laughs> I had a rather old mince pie and then after having that, oof, zonk, I was out. So maybe the mince pie did it. No, I don't think it was the mince pie. Uh, frustrating. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm not going to get cross with myself. I obviously needed the sleep. For better or for worse, I'm having coffee and a sugary snack, which is um one of these. Yum. Mm. I was in bed going to sleep I got very 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 cold and my feet were very 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 cold and my skin was very cold to the touch I tried you know touching my leg <laughs> it was like ice it was bizarre both windows were shut in my room I had this on and two duvets and the heating was on so I shouldn't have been cold but I really was very strange uh, anyway I'm just gonna slowly come round a bit then I'm just gonna look at what footage I've got today because I've got a feeling this is going to be a very short vlog <laughs> so anyway uh, yeah just work out how much more I need to do on it to make it into a vlog because I don't know what it's going to be like otherwise so I've done some editing and as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice I am feeling a bit perkier now probably to do with the coffee and a can of coke zero the coffee was mostly decaf though to be fair I need to get Izzy's dinner on now look at my hair by the way it needs a cut I like to have it about nose length and it is exceeding nose length currently as you can see so maybe later on you never know I might have a little snippy snip at the fringe I've got a box of hair dye in the cupboard that's been there since the start of the first lockdown and I'm starting to think I might just dye my hair with it. I feel like I'm wasting a box of hair dye if I'm not on stage or even more importantly hanging out with my boyfriend because he quite likes me with red hair, don't you IB? <laughs> it was one of the things that he initially liked about me which is kind of worrying because it's not actually my natural self but never mind we won't think about that now. Uh, yeah I might dye my hair and cut it, you know might feel good maybe. Uh, anyway let's go and cook vegetables and deal with the washing up that I didn't deal with this afternoon because I was spark out on my bed. Here I am down in my messy kitchen. I've just heard that the schools in Wales and colleges, that includes Izzy's, are going to stay closed until at least the 18th of January. So Izzy has at least an extra week at home. So that does mean I can bubble with IB for that extra bit of time. I think England's about to go into some kind of national lockdown, but I'm not going to distract myself with that right now. But I'll have a look once I've got dinner underway. And for dinner, you should see the state of this fridge, by the way. It's like, look, I need a bigger fridge. This is what happens when I do a massive online shop. For dinner, I'm going to do tortellini because I have tortellini in there somewhere. Uh, I'm saving the sausages because I'm having my boyfriend over and he likes these ones. You see, eight will only do two of us, so I'm going to save both of those. So if he does come tomorrow or the day after, I can do him sausage and mash and something green to go with it and he'll probably like that. Uh, right, where's that tortellini? And maybe sometime. By the way, it's my plan now to get more frequent online shops but smaller ones because pre-pandemic I would get them only like once a month or every two months so I'd really massively stock up on the bulkier items <coughs> but I don't need to do that if I'm getting them more often now so I don't know how much is too much really maybe once a week maybe I don't want to go to the local shops anymore I don't need to the end is at sight the vaccine is on the horizon it's going to be a few more months well at least a few more months I'm getting cold now the fridge is open <laughs> yeah so like the end is in sight so it's a finite period the end is in sight but we don't know how far exactly it is <sighs> I don't really want to make any uh, guesses on this channel because you know I don't want to be accountable for anything I'm thinking uh, December next year though to be September earliest I think I might get back to work in my previous occupation earliest 
But we'll see. We don't know, do we, what's going to happen. It's a massive undertaking to vaccinate the whole nation, well, the whole world. But here's a top tip that I got from the John Campbell channel last night, right? He was wearing a t-shirt in his video, and he never wears t-shirts, he always wears a shirt, so I thought, oh I, why is he wearing a t-shirt? And of course, in true John Campbell style, it was for demonstration purposes. He was demonstrating how much quicker it was to inject somebody who was wearing a t-shirt than a long sleeved shirt that you have to roll right up and up and up and he was just showing, you just go whoop up and he was showing exactly which bit of the muscle it's got going to and it's quite high up as well because it's an intramuscular jab apparently. So if you're going for a jab and you want to help them to get you done as quick as possible, wear a t-shirt. Because if you think about it, if everybody does it, cumulatively that's going to be a lot of time saved. I'm going to rummage in my fridge and then I'll show you what I'm cooking. It's about a quarter to eight now. I'm going up and down like a yo-yo. I was feeling top of the world and then I was feeling a bit dodgy again and now I'm kind of moderate again. Peaks and troughs. This is where I'm currently at with dinner. I've put some frozen corn pieces in there and I'm about to season it with a stock cube and some herbs and things. I haven't done that yet. I've done it all in the wrong order. I've cooked that way too early. So I've taken that off the heat and it's just kind of going a bit soggy if I'm honest. Still haven't done the washing up but I'm going to do that now while that cooks. I'm going to turn that down a bit and put a lid on it and let it sort of stew in its own juices for a bit. Some time later that must surely be done and look I've done most of it. I've just I've left the chopping board and that because I'm using it as a spoon rest. I found a cup as soon as I'd finished but there we are. That's done. Good. I was watching this very very well watching. I was listening to these three medics chatting about you know corona related stuff but notification did flash up while i was doing that and i didn't follow up the article but it looks like england's going back into a full lockdown and their schools will be closed from tomorrow i'll look at that after we've eaten because getting the wobbles now because i'm starving and izzy's probably starving as well so as soon as i've eaten this i'll have a look see what's going on in the world and in wales because obviously we're different here i, I don't know Ah, now, do you know, sorry, I still haven't served up dinner. When I was out with IB earlier, we were trying to rack our brains and remember how the lockdown was in March, first of all, when it happened and how it was different to now. And neither of us could strictly remember the exact details. And so that kind of prompted me to include more news updates in the vlogs when they come in, because when I come back to watch these in the future, or if anybody does, you know, even decades in the future, they'll be able to get a better idea of what the climate is now with regards to restrictions because they're shifting continually, aren't they? It's, it's amazing how quickly you forget. It's 10 past nine at night now. Izzy's gone up to do college assignments. She seems quite motivated to do that. We ate our dinner, I enjoyed mine. Isabel was like complaining that it was too acidic for her mouth again. I don't know, she's much better though than she was, much, much better. But she um, she has had a terrible eczema flare up on the backs of her knees over the last few days, but it's under control again now. That was because in my opinion. She delayed her self-injection pen by nine days because it's potentially immunosuppressing and when she was having potential corona symptoms, the GP advised that she didn't have her injection that week. And then a week later, she was still having the symptoms, so we held off. But after a further two days, she was begging to have it because the backs of her knees, for an area about this big, like a sort of round circular, was absolutely red, raw, inflamed, and just weeping the whole of the surface was weeping on both knees and it was sticking to any anything it came into contact with really uh so yeah we had to throw lots of medication at that one but she's got it under control it's turned the corner and the infection or whatever it is is receding now so it's not weeping anymore which is absolutely brilliant news but yeah she's been going through that I had a little look at the news articles. So yeah, England's going into a full lockdown from tonight, midnight, I think. Nothing's really changed for Wales other than, because we were already in a tight one anyway. Um, the only differences I can see are Welsh students that study in English universities can't. They have to do their learning at home. They can't go back now after their Christmas holidays. They have to stay at home. Uh, that's one thing. And also our schools, I mentioned earlier, schools and colleges won't be opening next week either. Scheduled to go back on the 18th at the earliest, but let's let's see how that goes because it looks like, you know, I can't see that happening at the moment. I don't think so. I think it's going to drag on and on. 
like England, I think they say it was like half term or something, February, and then getting back after that. What a U-turn! I don't know why they keep saying, we're definitely not going to do this, we're definitely not going to do this, because they don't know what's going to happen, do they? And then they have to keep on going back on their word, and then it looks embarrassing for them. I don't know why they don't just say in the first place, well, we're going to keep watching the uh, the data, keep listening to the advice from the scientists, and decide on the hoof as we need to, you know, be reactive. Uh, but anyway, who am I to comment? I don't know. Anyway, it's been another funny vlog, hasn't it? Because... <clears throat> I've been a bit up and down and we're all like in a bit of a funny stasis just waiting to hear what the next government announcement's going to be aren't we at the moment but you know we'll get through it we're in the last the last phase now aren't we it's going to be a hard one so they say the darkest hour is before dawn but anyway <laughs> I need to think of a better way to end the vlog than that on a completely different topic I'm very excited for IB coming tomorrow and I'm also very excited for my new camera coming the day after that. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm joggling the camera around because it's on my knee at the moment. Right, I'm holding it down. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a like because it really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. I really do. I really appreciate it. Every single one. And also, if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button down there. It's the little red button. And hit the bell as well. Because if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications about every time I upload. And you're much less likely to miss the video. Because, you know, they don't always appear on your sub feed, apparently. Apparently. I've never experienced this myself, but I have heard many YouTubers saying that videos don't always appear on a subscription feed. I'm sure all mine do, though. Yeah. Anyway, hit the bell and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!